Hello, everybody, and welcome back to this week's Capsule Cast. This week is round one of the playoffs slash the announcements of the results of LVP, mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah. Um, I am your host, Anthony, with my co-host, Destiny. Hello. All right, Destiny, you ready to get in it? Yeah. All right. Up right now, we have the results of the LVP tournament. In third place, we have the swordsman himself, Tapion. In second place, we have the space pirate, uh, Turles. And in first place, we have Bobbity's favorite minion, Spopovich. Destiny, tell me how you feel about Spopovich getting the dunce cap, beating up Goldo, and being the world's biggest loser in the DBZL stage. Uh, at least how I feel about it, more like... The brain, you kind of need some brain behind them, Ron, you know? Mm, and he has none. Uh, not a lot mm. after he was Bobby controlled. <laughs> True. Do you think this is going to affect Bujins at all, or are they going to keep him next season, regardless of his dunce status? Uh, considering the fact that testing is currently going on, I, uh, don't know if I'm obligated to say, but, you know. Uh,. I mean, at least if you've been paying attention, it does look like that Tur- that not Tur- uh, Spopovich is off for right now. True. True. And if you want to keep up with testing, add your own builds, talk to Bujins members, join Bujins. Go to the Discord down below in the link in the description and click it. Join. Declare your team or not. Just have fun. For our, uh, we have four teams currently testing of Bujins, Namek. Budokai and Cinema, so that's fun and all. Uh, what is I will say two things about the LVP. Uh, for third place, I did it by health bars, so it would mm-hmm. it's e- it was either between Tapion or Rakim, uh, obviously, and then yeah. and Tapion just had the lower amount of health. Also, yeah, Tapion struggled. <laughs> blades be crying. Blades do be crying. We had like almost five blade members in this LVP. The only non-blade member that was in there that wasn't an FA was Torch Trunks. Interesting. Okay. I'm pretty sure Merktau was a blades member. He's just an FA, so he couldn't be a part of it if he was. Oh no, FAs are allowed. Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, because yeah. Tapion. Tapion oh, obviously. Obvious. Yeah. <laughs> Murph Tau just wasn't, uh... He just wasn't bad enough, you know? Yeah. Anyway, should Alright, we... you ready to... ready to go to match one? Yes. Alright, let's go. Match one, we have the Earth Defenders versus the Resurrected Warriors. As we can see from the uh, scores, ED had won this first match because at the beginning... It was mid Vegeta versus N Vegeta. Mid Vegeta came in and destroyed N Vegeta. He also took out some of Yajirobe. Krillin comes in, does uh, pretty good actually. And mm, the other two Gokus do their thing. I don't think Tien had to step on the field, but Maju uh, putting up a fight for I'm RW. Sure Tien did step on the field a little bit because if I remember watching, I watched the, at least the result part of the match just to see who won and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm pretty sure Tien at least was mithi- missing a little bit of health. Oh. But I could be wrong. No, you're probably right. <laughs> it has been a long week since I've seen these matches. But I do remember feeling that ED is very strong. And RW need to go back to the uh, drawing board in terms of certain characters such as Aider and uh, maybe... Uh, Yaj and early Goku felt like the only two people doing anything were Majub and, and while ED, I'd say stick on this plan. I don't, I wouldn't change up too much, honestly. I wouldn't even change up your lineup because I think mid Vegeta at the start is a really good starter. How do you feel about these two five man's destiny? Uh, considering how I won and lost versus both of these, or I won mm-hmm. versus one and lost versus the other, um. Yeah. They both have really strong five mans. Uh, I think RW has the better. If you were to say just two characters worth of people, I would say RW does have the stronger two characters, with a maybe third being early because he has 
had a lot of good performances this season. This may have just been a one bad one. Uh, but ED definitely just has like overall the better uh five and in my opinion, just because like you basically never except mid Goku, you basically never know where anyone's going. Mm -hmm. Like Tien could start, Krillin could start, Vegeta could start, Goku could and Goku could start. Yeah, yeah. All of them could be in the back. You never know. That is true. They have a lot of variety in terms of lineup. I just hope that they find the right combination maybe to get a, at least a win off of ED, you know? Mm -hmm. No one likes to get swept. Uh, yeah, before I go any further, I would like to comment that the loans for both these teams are pretty interesting because they have N Goku loaned for ED and ne next once they're out, once playoffs is done, they're going to get Yamcha back. And RW loaned out 18 for early, so 18's coming back to their team. I think, actually, on our own, I think RW is going to get stronger with 18 than early Goku, and ED is going to get weaker with Yamcha than end. Yeah, Do you agree? Or? Uh, and Goku has been a, at least for some parts of the season, well, some people may disagree. Uh, mm -hmm. I think and Goku has been a solid character for ED and has shown up when he's to well mm. i think they're going to get a little bit weaker we've seen people like krillin for them really step up this season so who knows if they're really going to get that much weaker but i definitely can agree with you that uh, rw is going to get at least a tiny bit stronger with 18 yeah. though one thing with early goku is he does allow the team to go. He does allow the rest of the team to have a little bit more spam potential, because he True. could just go on anything. But same could be said about Majub and and Vegeta. So you really they, just up yeah. in the air. They RW's a very flexible team in terms of ML and build. So happy to see what they do further, either in the playoffs or in testing. So it's going to be exciting. All right. Ready to move on to match two? Uh, yeah. All right, sick. Match two, we have the 2021 champions, Royals, versus uh, Grand Tour, GT. And as we can see, Royals took the first win. This match was kind of, kind of sad if you're a GT fan, you know. This is just a classic case of Royals characters have no real deficiencies, right? MV is super strong, Tambourine's solid, Slug is solid. Uh, you know, and GT characters, they could have done more and they probably will on different builds and different lineup orders. But, you know, this match is just kind of a Royals are just, they're the, they were the champions for a reason. They're all pretty strong. They're all pretty solid characters. And if one of your guys falters and they lose the lead, then, you know, like GT Goku, he didn't really do much. So it was kind of a 4v5 for a while there. The tag game was nice uh, on both. I thought GT Goku was one of the people who performed. No, he got beat up by Tan, from what I remember. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Like I said, I just I was there in the call that night, and I had a long, long week of work. <laughs> so who knows? But I just remember it like a couple characters on GT not performing well, so it kind of just put the load on Sin, and he wasn't able to carry all that. Him and Vegeta, because. Royals, if you slip up, they're just going to take advantage. So you have to kind of be on your A game when you're fighting these guys. How do you feel about these guys? Uh, both Royals and GT. <laughs> uh, I feel like it's just for Royals, it's going to just be a, a season 2021 all over again because they did make the loans, they did make the trades, and they got a good FA. Mm -hmm. But I feel like for it's more important for GT as this is their second time in playoffs or actually no they're it's their uh third year in playoffs yeah. but yeah it's always just been like a more of a sad story for them and it's like you just really want to see them shine you know especially since yeah they make the comeback every year and then they get kind of eliminated around one or two it's or hmm. or they just edged into the bye week and then get eliminated like immediately mm -hmm. uh also it's like 
you kind of want to see them shine, especially when, like, they just have a lot of different stuff this time. Like, they have Baby on an EL build. They have Sin with more stats. They have uh, GT Goku actually somewhat yeah. performing. They have Grandpa Gohan looking like an actual decent pickup. Yeah, like, they, they're they the underdogs for sure. Yeah. No offense to Royals, you know. You're the champions, but obviously people just like to root for the underdogs more. I respect both these teams. I think Royals are definitely the scarier of the bunch, but I think most of East Kai is pretty scary. As we get on into the playoffs, we're going to see more uh, explosive matches coming out of there. And, you know, good luck to anybody who's having to face them coming up. Both teams, honestly. I wouldn't want to fight either of them. So next week, this is a match to watch, guys, because I feel like, well, we'll get into predictions later, but this is a good one. So moving on, we have the West Kai uh, playoffs. In yeah. our you are correct. West Kai, we have Rugrats versus Derp. Uh, as we can see, Rugrats beat Derp. And from what I remember from this match, Goten almost won Elite. Uh, so Junior did 50k, so he was ball. Everybody except for O'Reilly, who was clean up, did over 40k, which is phenomenal. Which means basically they did a character. So yeah. <laughs> well, someone must have, someone must have done over. Someone must have done a little bit more over 40 because they have five characters. They don't have four. Yes, and that was that was Mr. Goten and so Junior and kind of Trunks a little bit. Uh, they all did almost. 50 and go tended like 90 something so <laughs> he almost went elite this match unfortunately for derp kind of showed derp's a solid team and i'm glad that they made the playoffs without the use of a strong fa it kind of shows that they can be stable i think when in a game where hercule and your main spammers like the dory and hercule are getting shut down you're not going to make much headway there was a new Kui build in use. He did tag, mm -hmm. but that was about all he did, really, from what I remember. A lot of it was kind of Goten running away with it, Rugrats uh, taking individual turns to do their best moves, and Derp just kind of getting, just eating B2s and ults, and not being able to get to where they wanted. Herc wasn't spamming as much. Doria, I don't think, spammed at all. I don't remember Dodoria spamming. Kabito Kai transformed, but that just gave more health for Rugrats. Going forward, I would say for Derp, just try try new things. Honestly, like, go crazy. I would lead Hercule. I would just try different things to try to counter Goten lead and go from there. Because I feel like once you get rid of Goten and say there's like... Uh, I mean, it's hard because all of Rugrats is strong. It's hard. I just think you just got to try something different. And for Rugrats, keep it the same. You're a strong five. As mm -hmm. you're, even your weak link Cell Jr. get 50K. So, you know, maybe against hybrids is a different story. But against a lot of teams, I would say you're the favorites. Yeah. What about you, Destiny? How do you feel about these West Kyers? <laughs> <laughs> well, when just looking at Rugrats, it's kind of the five man I expected and been hearing about all season. Mm-hmm. With uh with Derp they kind of expect uh I did kind of expect the characters to do a little bit better. I know during the divisional it wasn't really that good. That's actually super not good. But uh like we've yeah. we, we've seen like Herc and Dodoria just run through teams by themselves, like or at least for Might Derp run through match, teams but... by themselves, so just I think Dirk's a solid team. Oh. oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was finished. Go ahead. Oh, I just think Dirk's a solid main season team. They're going to stick around east to the West Kai division nowadays. I think maybe another pickup, maybe a loan might do something for them. I don't know. I feel like, or maybe different builds might just take them to that next level, you know? Or it could just be a case of having bad luck with your Kai mates. Hybrids are very strong. Rugrats are also very strong. Maybe if they get kind of middling or teams, they might do a little better. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see next season. Uh, good luck to both these teams in your future endeavors. <laughs> All right. And the final match of the week. Match number four, South Kai. We have Kaiju and Sent. 
Sentai. Though, there's someone on Sentai that wasn't there for the final bits of the season. Uh, Mr. Jace. Jace! Of the Sentai squad! Uh, forgive me. <laughs> no, 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 you're fine, you're fine. It was, it was funny, I'm sure Terrible. you enjoyed it. Terrible AXA. No, this match, a lot of controversy. Uh, <laughs> Monkey Madness. I'm not going to put it lightly, okay? Kaiju stomped. Scouter did not have to hit the field. Um, Bardock, Turles, and Nappa all went great ape. They all tagged. Adult Gohan did adult Gohan things. Not to say there wasn't success on the opposite side. Birder and Jiren did very good. I think Jace did the third best. Uh, you hate to see... If I remember correctly, it was... You hate to see Saiyan Man and Tao not do anything. Tao got uber ulted and died. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you hate to see it. When you have three apes, which is a rare occurrence, I might add, even on their home map, <laughs> there's a lot of conditions that have to be set for you to get to ape. It has been a big discussion in the Discord. To, to be fair, it is kind of easier on this one. There's no matter what, they'll always either have one or two apes because Turles and Scouter have the uh, ball. True. I will say though, getting to three blast stocks and on the last health bar, it's pretty hard. If you, it's let, hard if I'll, your I'll, opponents are going hard against you. If you're allowing them to do that, which Sentai kind of was, they were backing off, they weren't getting as aggressive. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get three apes. That's kind of what's gonna happen. So, you know, I I will like. I hate to see this because I like Kaiju as a team and I like Sentai as a team. Sentai, first time making playoffs, you hate to see him get eliminated around one. This is a very tough Kai. In my opinion, probably the strongest Kai out of all of them, if I had to say so myself. Not to toot everybody's horn, but Destiny was in it, so he should know. It's a very tough Kai. Mm -hmm. Um, I, you know, Kaiju, I like their makeup. This is honestly one of my favorite Kaiju teams. And Sentai, I really like them as a team, and I hope they have success in the playoffs or in the future. Biased Android supporter here. I'd rather fight Kaiju than Sentai, but maybe that might change. Just me personally. Maybe. Just on the matchup basis. That's just me, though. It is definitely true. Also, I don't want to be the team that knocks out Sentai. Make me feel bad. To be fair, I don't think anybody <laughs> wants to knock out Sentai. The first oh, yeah. time in playoffs. Dog eat dog world, you know. Yeah. Uh, Destiny, as you were one of us in South Kai, tell me how you feel about these five mans. Do you think they could have done anything different, or is this the optimal play that they could have done for uh, both sides? I mean, what you want peel off in for Kaiju? Is that what you're saying? Is it? Is it? Is, are these five men good? Are these five men good? Now, for Kaiju, it's pretty easy to say because you don't want to bring in Pilaf. But should they have brought in Say a Woman? Maybe replacing Tao or Jace or Say a Man? I don't know. Is, was this their optimal five men? Oh, God. Should they change the anything? Def, they should have definitely keep Say a Man, Jace, not Jace, uh, Jiren, and Birder. Jace is, Jace is nice to bring back in because he probably has one of the best chances against Kaiju because his rush is only his ult. True. He has a lot of good B2. Some would say he is just like 17. Uh, It's more... Also, I think he when he was in, he's done better than Say Woman. It's just more That's of the say, say Woman versus Tao. But you can see why if they don't do it for like, say Kaiju, for example, because all she has is rushes. Yeah, I mean, you could put her first and hope that she just kills spams, him. Spams her hard out, yeah. you know? Yeah, there's also a possibility. There's a lot of options for your Sentai. Kaiju, in my opinion, keep it the same, brother. You're not much to do. Your guys are working. That's all that you can ask for. Your guys are working and they're cracking lacking, you know? <laughs> mm-hmm. I hope the best for both these teams. Now, Destiny, I know it's been a quick capsule cast, but honestly, there's only been four matches in LVP. If you guys want to watch those four matches in LVP, though, go to the stream. Get some engagement. Or like go, it. Or, you know, you can go and watch the episodes. 
leave your constructive yes in the episodes or in the stream staff reads all of it so if you want some things that maybe you don't want to join the discord but you have some ideas about certain things say it in the comments staff reads every comment trust me they do no we still have predictions right i know i know i just wanted to get that out of the way before no, yeah. we move on to my favorite yeah, segment we, we can say more after predictions all right my favorite segment predictions Oh, first we have North Kai, ED versus RW, matches two and three next week. Or potentially, match, or poten match two potential. and potentially match three. Yes. How do you think this is going to go, Destiny? Considering how uh, ED versus RW went round one, if this goes to round three, I'm going to see ED take it. I mm. actually think either way, ED will take it. But I definitely yeah. see RW make I definitely see, like, RW maybe taking it to round three, because, to be fair, ED's map is just an island with a bunch of water. <laughs> it could have yeah. just affected AIs a bit, even though, you know, RW has an Android and ED don't, you know. You never know. Yeah, you just never know. I personally think ED's gonna take it two rounds, clean sweep. I think they're going to fight their hardest, and RW may not. I think ED want to beat Muscle more. I think that's. I think they have a fire under them. And they they they're they're ready. They're tired of being counted out. So I'm gonna say ED. Too well. All right. Up next, we have the East Kai Royals versus the Grand Tour. Uh, you go first, Destiny. What are you thinking? Uh. Royals versus Grand Tour, you know, we have, hmm, this is on GT's home map, because round two is always the away home. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, I feel like while they could do better, I definitely think, unless they, like, change the lineup up a bit, just to mm. get, like, hopefully favorable matchups, it's going to go in Royals' favor. Because Royals is yeah. just, Royals just will catch you if you're slipping, you know? Yeah. I'm going to be different. I'm going to say it's going to go three rounds, and I think GT, they're going to make the right adjustments. I think they are going to make it to cold. That's my prediction. Lock it in. If I'm wrong, oh well. But mm. that's who I want to win. Uh, well, Chris Royals, I like you guys too. Yeah. I like all the here. Moving on, we have... West Kai with Rugrats and Dirt, and you know, Anthony, because I took the last two, how about you pick these two? How about you go first? All right. I'll go first on this one. Unfortunately, ooh, you know what? No, I think even if Derp, I think Rugrats just their five man is a little too, a little too good right now. A little too solid. There's no cracks I see forming. I would be a hater and say so, Junior, but I'm not going to. I'm going to be fair. And I think Rugrats are going to 2-0 -oh Derp this time. What about you, Destiny? Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? I think... Hmm. I think it, it can't. It will go to three round. But I definitely mm -hmm. see Rugrats taking it overall. Mm. Okay. And then we Next. have South Kai yep. with Kaiju versus Sentai on Sentai's home map for round two, and Kaiju's home match for, for a potential round three. So, you go first. I'm thinking, same deal with Rugrats and Derp. One team has a, has a weak link or two, the other has none. And, you know, Kaiju's just super solid right now, super strong. It's going to take a lot to get some cracks in that armor. Um, Yeah, I'm going to say Kaiju well, duo. You know, I can see that, but you also, there isn't as much apes this time. True. I think they're going to prove it wrong. I think they're going to say, we're not just a team of apes. We can beat you without them. Oh, no, they definitely proven they can without them. Um, yeah. You know, I say Sentai could actually go all the way. I just think round one was like just a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of a lineup issue. Just a little. And not having the right people in the right places doing the right, and them being a little too passive. I think Sentai going to get a round three and going to take it. All right. Well, 
those are our predictions. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll see them next week. Make sure you guys tune in for that and check out the next capsule cast so we can talk about it. We'll have a guest on. We'll see who, depending on who wins or loses. Also, we can almost guarantee that it may or may not be longer. It will hopefully it will be longer. I mean, playoffs go quick, guys. You know, the last season, the bowl will be a little longer because we'll have more to talk the about. Bowl the bowl will definitely be longer, yeah. but that's about it. We yeah, can't really, uh, go really quick, guys. yeah, we can't really control if matches go from four to eight, you know. Yeah, well, before we head out, make sure you check out the links in the description of the Discord, the website, the Twitter, and our TikTok. Comment below to make sure we can improve the cast and the bowl or the league in general. Mm. Uh, off season, we're gonna have some fun events and during playoffs and main season stuff. So check out all that stuff. Go back in the past. There's some cool stuff and, there in uh, 2020 and 2021. Don't don't forget if you join the Discord, you can join some of these teams because uh, at least four of these teams will be knocked out and available to test after uh, the Saturday. Yeah. Or you could just root for them. Just yeah. have some support. Coaches love that stuff. And don't forget, if you enjoyed us, enjoyed the streams, and just, you know, enjoyed DBZ League in general, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, maybe hit the like button. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye.